Thank you for watching Adopedia World videos. So guys in this session we will continue with our rows. This is the part 3 of rows in MySQL. Let us start. Let us start by giving our root password. Okay. So we will use Adopedia database. Alright. Let us see what we have in our directors table. I'm sorry, this is select star from. All right, and let us see what we have in movie stable. So, if you remember in the last session, we entered the first row and we had a deal that we will enter another 13 rows in for this session if you have entered the 13 rows so there is no problem if not so I'll start with one or two rows then pause the video and enter all the 13 rows and you can just copy them at your end alright so we start by insert into the column name of the tables that is movie so we give we need title we need a release year and we need the ratings all right so we are inserting into the movies table the column name title release year and the rating so I give values okay so let me insert first row Alright, so we have title as Saving Private Ryan. The release year is 1998. If you remember, release year is the data type of integer, and we do not need quotes around it. And rating is R. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this video, and if you remember, in the last session, we discussed and we agreed upon that we will insert another 13 rows so we will have all together 14 rows in movies table so I'll just pause this video insert the remaining rows and then start it if you have already inserted no problem if you have not so when I start it again you can just copy those values alright so we are there and I put a semicolon and enter so you can see that 13 rows were affected 13 rows were inserted now when you select all select star or all from movies table you will see everything is there let us start by select movie ID comma title comma release year comma rating okay so we are selecting every column from the table movies alright there you go we are getting the same result as we would get from select star from movies fine
now what if I just want to select the release here select release here from my movies table so I'll give a release here from movies okay so what I'm doing I'm selecting the column release here from movies all right there you go now let us say we want to select first name from the directors table okay all right what we have here is that the query returns all the first name from the directors table all right so say tuned because we have lots of queries lots of things that are coming up in the next session i hope that you are enjoying this session thank you